the one indispensable man in Gap, Pennsylvania. Every morning in the post office, before he sets out on his 49-mile mail route through Pennsylvania Dutch country, Levi Fisher peers through his spectacles, scratches his chin whiskers, and sorts out the Stoltzfuses. There's Moses D. Stoltzfus and Moses E., and Abram and Amos and Aaron and Ben. Oh, there are some zooks and glicks and smuckers on Levi Fisher's mail route, but there are hundreds of Stoltzfuses. If he didn't know them all, the mail would be an awful mess on Route 1, Gap, Pennsylvania. There are 23 John Stoltzfuses on Route 1. Levi Fisher thinks of them as Ike's John, Nick's John, Big John, Little John. One time I had three Amos Stoltzfuses on School Lane Road. They were all builders, which made it a little complicated. Now, wait a minute. You mean they all had the same name, they all lived on yeah. the same road, and they all had the same occupation? Yeah. This is Levi Fisher's occupation then, telling Stoltzfuses apart. He knows the Stoltzfuses better than they know themselves. Amos S. It should be Amos F. A little before 10 o'clock, by the Gap Town clock, Levi Fisher is on his way, bouncing over the country roads through America's oldest Amish settlement, driving with one hand, sorting with the other, carrying the mail to the Stoltzfuses. Which Stoltzfus is this now, Mr. Fisher? This is David S. Stoltzfus. This is one of the David S's. There, Elam B. Stoltzfus has his mail for another day. Okay. Abe P. Stoltzfus has his. Since the Amish Stoltzfuses all believe in hard work and tidy farms, Route 1 Gap is as pretty a route as a mailman could ever hope for. But Levi Fisher takes no time off to admire the scenery. It's enough of a job just dodging the slow-moving buggies and making chains and selling stamps and telling one Stoltzfus from another. When a Stoltzfus is born, Levi Fisher carries the notes of happiness along Route 1. And when a Stoltzfus dies, he brings the condolences. By never confusing Abe Stoltzfus with Abram Stoltzfus, and by knowing exactly which of 23 John Stoltzfuses is which, and who their wives and kids and cousins are, and their uncles and their aunts who write them letters, Levi Fisher has turned what might be a mailman's nightmare into a model of calm and order to match the calm and orderly countryside. Someday he will retire. No Stoltzfus likes to think about that. Okay, that's it. Charles Kuralt, CBS News, On the Road. And that's the CBS Evening News for this Thursday. Dan Rather reporting from New York. Thank you for joining us. Good night.